Hi, my name is Andrew Snow from Halifax, Nova Scotia. You're watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJP. Good morning. It is a good morning. The sun's shining. The earth is still spinning. The sun is still burning. It's, it's doing its thing up there. It's, it's great. We haven't fallen into the sun and we haven't gotten further away. We're still in proper orbit. It means it's a good day. It's a great day. I've got another load behind me working. Can you see it over there in the mirror? No? Tarp load. Uh, we're going to take this on down to Brainerd, Minnesota. We're going to unload it there and come back on up for another one. It's going to be fun. Off to work we go. Five hundred and ten kilometers. We're looking at just over three hundred miles. We're gonna unload first thing tomorrow morning and rush back here to reload. I know that guy. That was my uh, some friends I grew up with. That's their dad. I believe that's uh, Mr. Hofer. At least he has a truck identical to that. If that's not him, maybe I got it wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was him. Beautiful day for trucking again. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay. Fort Francis is just around the corner. Just on a little pull out. I want to check the load. Make sure everything. Karen, no, we're stopping. I gotta check the load. So this load was a little bit more odd shaped than they usually are coming from there. But it's still covered. It's good. All right. Alright, I put little protectors in the corner up here because uh, I didn't want it to rip through my tarps. Glad I did that, otherwise I'd have a big hole in my tarp there right now. Alright, alright, everything looks good. It's looking good. Everything is as it should be, covered. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, well, there we go. Got the sun going down over there already. A little bit of a later start today because we got back there late last night. Ah, at least it's warmer though. It's a beautiful day. I'll allow it. You can drive in front of me for a little bit. International Falls, Minnesota. You guys recognize it? Nice little town right at the very northern tip of Minnesota. Becoming a regular going through here. People are going to start recognizing me. Maybe start waving at me. So my reload tomorrow, uh, I thought it was back in Kenora. I thought I was going to race back there tomorrow and try to get there before 2 p.m. And I was thinking to myself, it's going to be tight. I'm going to have to get unloaded like first thing in the morning and just book it back to get back before two so that I can get loaded, right? Turns out, no, 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 we're not going back to Kenora to load. I've got a reload in Pillager, Minnesota, which is right next door to Brainerd. Literally like 20 minutes away. Way better. And that load has actually taken me home. So I'll get home sooner. And I don't think I have to tarp that one either. <laughs> nice so we're gonna drop this load off in the morning in Brainerd we're gonna go down the road to Pillager load up another load and then take that load home and that has to be delivered in Winnipeg in a few days I think I'm going home first in between depending on when they want it there but 
So that is, uh, that was great news. I just had the message come through here. I'm like, oh, there's my new load offer. Went and looked at it, I was like, okay, Kenora. Oh, it's not Kenora. <laughs> I actually let out a little bit of, woo! That's so much better of an option. We're just gonna make my Friday go a lot better. I'm not gonna be so rushed. Are you gonna cross on the crosswalk? Or are you walking past the crosswalk? Walking past the, okay. I was ready to stop for you, bud. I was, oh, now he is gonna go. Well, I was ready to stop for you, but didn't look like he was gonna cross. So we have exactly 300 kilometers to our destination, 200 miles. We'll pound those miles off tonight yet. And we'll get there at a pretty decent time tonight. I'm thinking, yeah, the sun will be down for sure already. The sun's already down, but. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. It's already a good day. It's been a good day. It's gonna continue being a good day. Can you imagine doing that roof? Are you a roofer? Can you imagine doing that? Those are shingles. Yikes. I'm not a roofer. I don't know why I thought of that, but that's me just throwing out random thoughts into the world. And green. Green! Oh, you almost made me get angry. Now I gotta start back up from slow. I'm gonna get in this right lane. There you guys go. Come on, pass here, guys. Get past me, I'm slow, I'm fat. There you go, oh, there's a lineup behind me. I'm sorry, is that my fault? I'm sorry. You guys there you guys go, everybody get past me, everybody get past me. The only thing I ask is that you don't slow down once you get in front of me, okay? If you wanna get past me, that's fine. Go faster than me then. Don't, come, don't cut in front of me and go slower, that bugs me. That's just not right, it's not nice. Happens all the time, all the time. No one wants to be behind the semi, right? I understand, neither do I. When I'm in my pickup truck, I try to get in front of the big trucks too. But the difference is that when I get in front of the big trucks, I make sure that I set my cruise faster than what the big truck was going. And if the big truck is going faster than I wanna go, then I let him stay in front of me. Revolutionary thinking, I know. I know, I thought of it myself, thank you. That's why I'm on YouTube. You can call me a wise one full of these tips. I come from a school of common sense. But you know, common sense isn't very common anymore, so it's more like a school of uncommon sense. Casey's in Pillager, Minnesota. I wanted a nice, safe place to park overnight. We came here. So I'm gonna drive back to Brainerd. It's about 15 minutes past Brainerd. Actually, my reload is just around the corner here. I wish I could just go and get that right away. But first, I have to deliver the freight that's on my trailer. So we'll go 15 minutes back that way. And then we come back here, we'll reload and go home. But that'll be on tomorrow's video. For today, let's just go get rid of this freight. I know my vlogs this week have sort of been all over the place. Some sort of like cramming a couple of days together into one vlog. It happens sometimes, you know? When you vlog every day, sometimes you run out of uh, things to say. Believe it or not, I, even me. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Shall we? We shall, thank you, Karen. Thank you for your undying support in giving me directions. Okay, we'll fill her all up with air. Give it a second. Turn all our lights on so people can see us. Just in case the sun's not bright enough. Just in case. And we're gonna make sure the trailer is coming with us. Looks like it is. I'm gonna spike the brakes. Oh, it is attached and the brakes work. Fantastic. That's, that's a good day. And they released too. Nice. Let's go. Let's get this package off my trailer. And go put a different package on there and go home.
could have stayed in Brainerd, I guess. I just, I'm unsure of where to park there overnight. Someone's told me that they don't want us to park at the customer. Some people have said that they don't mind. Some people have told me to go park at the mall, but you know, I'm nervous parking at the mall because very often the owners of the mall will send the police out to clear the trucks out that are parked in their lots overnight, right? And I don't know this, if that's ever happened there or not. I just don't want to be woken up in the middle of the night. So I just play it safe and I come park at the truck stop here in Pillager. It's a little ways out of my way, but at least then I know like, I'll have a nice uninterrupted sleep. I'm where I'm allowed to be. been really nice and warm the last few days. So much easier on the truck. Those really cold days are so hard on equipment. And I'm thinking, you know, it's we're pretty much in mid-February in 2023 if you're watching this down the road i think our coldest days are probably behind us like i don't want to jinx it or anything but i think we can start looking forward to spring now i like how mcdonald's has the american flag flying out front McDonald's, America. <laughs> I love McDonald's and McDonald's loves me a little too much, a little too much. So this here's the Mississippi River, it comes all the way up here. Or does it go all the way back down? Which way does it flow? Does it flow south or north? Looks like it's flowing south. Oh, okay. I think most rivers do flow south. The Red River that goes through Winnipeg is one of the few rivers in North America that actually flow north. Expensive year because I've got to get new steers and I've got to get new drives. I'm gonna to try to wait as long as I can and uh, buy them probably for the first snowfall later this, this late 2023. I have an empty step deck now and a dirty truck. So let's go uh, fix that. Let's put some stuff on the trailer and we'll see if I have time for a truck wash on the way home. I really want to get home so I may just wash it myself this evening at the shop, save some money, see what the weather is going to be like. If it's too cold, there's no use in me doing it myself because everything just freezes. So I got to wash it and rinse it off outside, right? And it's very hard to get it clean anyway and yeah, Blue Beacon, they are the professionals. so. It doesn't have to be a Blue Beacon either. It can be any other truck wash. I mean, PBX and Blumenort has a great truck wash too. I haven't tried them yet, but my dad's gone there a few times. He really likes it and they do a good job. Maybe I can bring it there. Decent price. I forget what the prices were. Somewhere around like 70 bucks, 70, 75 bucks for a full truck wash and they'll wash it for you. That's the big thing, right? You want, it takes a long time if you just do it yourself. But 
we'll see. Thanks for joining me today, guys. It's been a kind of a crazy vlog all over the place. In tomorrow's vlog, we're gonna pick up this lumber out of Pillager, tie it down, and go home. We gotta deliver it in a few days. So I'm not going straight to the customer. They want it in a few days after that yet, so we'll see what happens with that. I'm gonna go home first anyway.